Hey guys, it's Joe. And you know me, whenever I'm in this car, I usually rant. <laughs> rant to you guys. And um, yeah, so I'm on my way to the doctor's office right now to get an MRI on my head to find out why I can't sleep at night and why I keep waking up gasping for air, blah, 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 and getting blood work. But anywho, that is not what I'm here to rant about, guys. I am here to rant about my spirit experience on my way back home from Texas. <laughs> I don't like flying as it is. I don't like getting on planes, but you know, if I wanna see my family and friends, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? So, if you guys have been following me, watching my video, following me on Instagram, you guys know that I was in Frisco, Texas for about almost two weeks with my in-law, celebrating my sister-in-law's 40th birthday. We say 21st birthday because she still looks fabulous. On my way back home, everything went according to plan. Well, kind of. When we, um, I was supposed to be there till Sunday, I decided I wanted to be there a little longer, so I extended my stay, but we didn't realize when we extended the stay who's gonna bring me to the airport so that was a bit of a challenge trying to figure out who and I hate to be an inconvenience to anybody so I was gonna uber it but it turns out it's like a little over a hundred dollars to uber and I don't mind spending a hundred dollars just not on an uber driver you know <laughs> if I'm gonna spend a hundred dollars I want to buy something <laughs> and have it physically or bless somebody with it you know whatever so my sister-in-law Sandra ended up taking me to the airport extra early because she had to work that day and I felt bad because she's pregnant my nephews and nieces off and then her kids and then you know she does a lot of running around that she's working full-time and she's already like about to pop guys so I felt bad but you know I had to get home and so she took me to the airport I was there four hours before my flight I watched some Netflix had some breakfast walked around a little bit bought like a long sleeve Texas shirt because it was freezing in the airport guys it was freezing get on the airplane <laughs> so when I changed the tickets I didn't realize that my seat was gonna be in the middle so I didn't exchange it or anything and I do not like being in the middle guys you know guys I'm claustrophobic I know I got a lot of issues guys I do not like being I don't like being in the plane as it is but to be in the middle I need the aisle seat. I need to be able to feel like at least I got some kind of freedom because my whole claustrophobic thing is the, the not having control to move around or just get up and go, you know? So I'm sitting in the middle and I'm like, God, I hope I get a nice person that does not mind switching with me. And I'm waiting and waiting, waiting. Finally, the guy shows up and I tell him, I say, hey, do you mind switching with me? And he's like, why are you sitting in the window? I said, no, I'm in the middle seat. And he was like, oh, sure, no problem. He didn't ask me or anything. So I, I just, you know, I just kind of mentioned to him why, you know, because I didn't want him to think I just didn't want to sit in the middle, you know. So, he was like, oh, no problem. Don't you worry about it. I'm good. I'll sit right here. I'm fine. Trade with me, which was really nice. <laughs> well, during the flight, there was a guy who was just starting fights with everybody on the plane. I mean, I don't really know what's going on in the back because he was maybe like three or four rows behind me. But he was so loud that you can hear him. And I had headphones on. So I look back and, you know, they're going back and forth. And you could tell that he was arguing with a woman. And then a guy behind the woman got into it. And they went back and forth for a while. And then they just shut up. So I'm sitting there minding my business, playing a game. So I'm playing my game. And all of a sudden I hear a boom, boom, boom. And it knocks my arm off my headrest. Okay, it wasn't sticking out the aisle. It was just on the headrest. And I had my hand like this. And it knocks my hand off. And I'm like, what the heck? And I look, and he's just walking down the aisle real fast. And I'm like, okay, well, maybe he just didn't notice, whatever. I proceed to play my game. Boom, 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 coming back. And now I have my hand like this again, and poof, knocks it off. And I'm like, what the heck? <laughs> really? And he would walk so fast, didn't say, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, whatever, nothing. Okay, just walk really fast. Uh, a few minutes later, I have my hand inside, and I'm just playing my game boom 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 bumps my hand and I said what the heck I said it loud you know but he didn't hear me because he's walking by so fast I don't know why he kept going back and forth I don't know if he was going to the bathroom what he was doing so I looked behind me and the, there was a lady not directly across me but like on an angle and she looked at me and went and I said is he bumping you she's like he's bumping everybody and I'm like well what the heck is his problem she goes he got in it with some people over there and whatever. I said, well, if he bumps into me again, I'm saying something. 
out. So I'm sitting there and I hear him coming. So I kind of like moved over like this, okay, to, to just avoid him. So he starts coming and he still bumps me, guys, okay? But does not apologize. You feel when you bump into somebody, you feel it. So at least I'm sorry or be courteous. If you keep bumping into people, uh, walk sideways or something, you know, be courteous. Watch your surroundings. You're not the only one on the plane and it's just rude, guys. He bumps me and I say, what the hell, man? <laughs> and he goes, excuse me? I said, what the hell? And he goes, what? And I said, you bought me four times already, dude, four times. And he goes, oh, you counting? I said, yes, I'm counting. And he goes, well, I got stuff in my pants. And he had like those, those camel pants, you know, those camouflage pants, army pants, you want to say? And they had pockets and he had them full. So they looked like they were coming out like that much from the sides of his pants. Okay, I get it. You know, maybe he didn't want to play for like a, a check-in or maybe he didn't have no, I don't know. I don't know what his deal was. But if you know that you have that, if you know you're hitting people, don't make it our, it's not my problem that you're hitting me and like you deal with it. Apologize, like I said, or just watch when you're walking if you have to keep getting up. Watch how you're walking so you don't keep hitting people. That's not hard to do. So he was like, all oh, right, man, my bad. I didn't say nothing after he said that. I let it be. So I thought that was going to be the end of it, right? Well, no. He still hit me a couple times after that. But he was walking so fast that it was hard to say something. And I didn't want to get into him because the guy that switched seats with me, it turns out that the people that were directly across from me this way was his family. So there was two kids and the wife. I was like, oh, no, no. There's kids on this plane. I'm not trying to get in with this guy and get to the point where he starts swearing or get him to get me to the point where I get so angry and I start saying stuff that I will regret because it's not me. So whatever. I just kept trying to stay like in my aisle so he wouldn't bump me. All right. So the rest of the flight was a little scary. There was turbulence. It was rocky. Mayday. You know, I prayed a lot. Hallelujah. Prayed Hallelujah. a lot on the plane. And so my anxiety levels were kind of high because of all the turbulence. And then he kind of kind of tweaked me up a little bit, you know. And so I was just a little nervous. Now it's time to get off. So the plane lands. You know how as soon as the plane lands, everybody takes their seatbelts. Some people start getting up. But you don't get off right away, you know. So you know, I take off my seatbelt. I, I just have my personal item with me. I start to grab my stuff and I start to get up and I hear a boom, boom, boom. He bumps me. I fall back into my seat and he just stands right in front of me <laughs> and doesn't say anything. And I look around and the people are looking at me like, <laughs> let me show you guys. The lady was like, and I'm like, <laughs> and then we're talking with our faces. You know how you don't have to say anything to somebody. You know what they're saying and they know what you're saying when you're like, so <laughs> she felt me <laughs> so i was like what the hell oh, no hell oh, oh hell no, no. Oh, oh, oh. Mm -hmm, guys all right because i'm about to punch his freaking pants or punch the back of his butt or something like i was saying let me put this a little bit this way so the guy comes and he stands right next to me and bumps me okay <laughs> and i'm like I don't say anything to him, but I was like in awe, like really, like really. And I say, Jesus, to myself, you know, I'm like, oh, Jesus, like that. And he goes, excuse me? And he looks down at me, he's really tall, he's standing over me and I'm still sitting down. And I said, I said, Jesus. And then he looks at me, he goes, white Jesus, all up in my face, white Jesus. And I'm like, no, Jesus, just Jesus. And he goes, white Jesus, he did like two or three times and I said, you know what clearly something's wrong with you just leave me alone and mind your business you're in a hurry to get out of here just by all means so whatever so I continue to play my game I'm like I'm stuck here because he's standing there with his hands hanging all over on my side and so he's staring at me and I look up at him and I said can you stop staring at me please and he looks back down me and gets in my face and goes oh what <laughs> I'm like, really? What is your deal, dude? I mean, you've been bumping people left and right the whole trip. You don't know how to apologize. You're rude. You're all up in my space. I can't even get up because your pants are hanging all up on my side. You're over here saying white Jesus. I don't know what white Jesus have to do with anything. There's just one Jesus, you know? He just goes off on me. I don't even remember because it's been a, a while since this went down. So, 
I just, we're going back and forth. We're exchanging words for a little bit. And then I said, you know what? I don't have time for you. You know what? I'm not going to let you get under my skin. Clearly, you you want to start problems with people. You, you know, you have some issues. So just leave me alone. You do you. I do me. And that's that. And he just kept saying some stuff and I just ignored him. <laughs> I was just like, what is up with this dude? I mean, really? Come on now. I mean, so whatever. I stay behind him. I text my husband to let him know, you know, about what's going down. You know, hey, there's this guy bothering me. He's all up in my space. He's all up in my face. Just in case, if you need to come in, I'm just letting you know. So my husband's like, do I need to bring my gun? And I'm like, no, 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 no. Just stay in the car. If it gets crazy, then I'll let you know and you could come in. Man, I'm just trying to talk to my girl, bro. That's all I'm trying to just do. Relax. I'm trying to get him arrested at the airport, you know. And so... Uh, <laughs> That was it, but that was just ugh, such a frustrating flight home. And Spirit, I just don't like it, but we've been flying it a lot because we flew it a couple times and, you know, in some emergencies. And because of it, we got some mileage points and then they keep sending us discount. But if you really stop and think about it, it really isn't cheaper. You only get one luggage and you still got to pay for that. It's 45 and up. If you go over 40 pounds, you got to pay for that. Then you got to pay for your carry-on. Then you have to pay to pick your seat, even though you bought an airplane ticket. You still got to pay. It's $15 and up, depending on what seat you pick. Singular seat is $15. If you want a comfy seat, it's $20 and up. So to me, I think that's ridiculous. They charge for everything. They don't even give you free peanuts or anything. They charge you for your drinks. They charge you for your water. They charge you for your snacks. So I, to me, it adds up and it's not as cheap, but that's what we've been flying. So whatever. But I don't really care for spirit. So that's my wrap with that. I just finished um, doing my MRI for my head. And oh God, guys, I almost got a freaking panic attack in that little thing. I, I knew they were going to put me in some kind of little con Cushion or I don't know if I'm saying that word right, but I didn't know that they were gonna put like this thing over my head that looked like Hannibal, you know, where they put me down. I was laying on this bed and then they put this mask on me and they screwed it together so I couldn't get up. They gave me earplugs because the thing was gonna be tight. He gave me like an emergency squeeze thing if I start to freak out that he'll come out. His name was Paul, he was really nice. <sighs> But my heart was racing and then he told me don't move or else you're going to be in here longer and the test was half an hour half an hour yeah so still have my little thing from you know right here they took out some blood and that freaking hurt a little i don't know if you can see that but it still hurts because they had to put some liquid in me and take out some blood make sure my kidneys were okay before they did the test i still gotta go get blood taken to do a bunch of other tests to find out what's going on with me why can't i sleep why can't i breathe at night because for some reason nighttime comes around i can't breathe i gasp for air i get up my chest hurts my head hurts i'm dizzy and it's just crazy i'm up till like four six in the morning so i haven't been able to go back to work i don't even know i don't even know i i i, I don't even know but anyways so all right guys that's it that's my rant that's my mini blah blah just me venting talking to you guys <laughs> it helps it helps to talk if there's anybody listening out there you know hey thanks for listening guys i appreciate you make sure to click and subscribe click on that notification bell so you know when my videos are popping when i'm up ranting some more guys <laughs> and don't forget to give a like meanwhile remember to be blessed guys i'll see you guys soon